airplane's gonna be in the shop. Yes. Leave. Leave. Fly faster. Mm. Okay. <laughs> question six. Yeah. What questions? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna hear it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Erica. And I'm Sarah. And we're from left to right. And today we're doing uh, the booktube newbie tag and our September TBR. We're really big book nerds. Like, I mean, you all should be. But, um, our friends... It's okay if you're not. Yeah. <laughs> you should be. Our friends got sick and tired of us complaining about books and fangirling about them. So we decided to complain and fangirl to you guys. I already have a DIY in the works, so ha ha ha, wink wink. I'm excited to be able to talk to other people that like to read because we don't have too many of those here. <laughs> Reality kind of stinks sometimes and like, it just gives you a place to escape. Plus you think about how authors arrange words and everything and it's weird to think about how it's just ink on a piece of paper, but it makes you imagine things and mm -hmm. feel things and you see pictures in your head. <laughs> Percy Jackson, 100% <laughs> Rick Riordan, thank you for that. Yeah, All right, let's see. I mean, I went through a pretty good streak for, um, like with the Maze Runner series, but then I got out of it again, and then I got into the Red Queen, and from there it was like a uh, ripple effect, so Red Queen. So I probably wouldn't ask a question, but I would say it's great that people are actually doing this because most people like Curse Project, Emma Books, everyone, they kind of started this whole thing and I think it's great that they kind of have this little community under their fingertips. I want to keep up with it because school's starting soon, rip, and um, there'll be clubs and homework and sports. So kind of the schedule, but we'll get it done. True. And I thought it was going to be weird talking to a camera, but it's <laughs> actually not. Since forever. You haven't been alive ever. forever. And always. <laughs> Everywhere. Everywhere. On the bus. In the car. In Spanish home. class. In class. <laughs> if it's ever just the two of us, we like to go somewhere fun. And mm -hmm. we usually go down to this little town and they have a really nice bakery, it's really good. New places inspire new ways to picture a book and better writing opportunities too. <laughs> YA, sci-fi, fantasy, fantasy, yeah. Historical Action. fiction. Historical fiction, definitely. It's a big one. Special World War II. Yeah, World War II books. I like Russian Revolution stuff. And now into our TBR. Yay! The <laughs> never ending piles of TBR. Okay, for September, I am going to start Traitor to the Throne by Almond Hamilton. Uh, this is the second book to the Rebel of the Stand series, and I'm pretty sure I'm making a third one. Mm, definitely. Erica okay, already read it. Sounds really cool. It's like Middle East meets fantasy so far, and it's really cool. And then there's been so much hype about this, The Thousand Floor, because I figured I would read this one because September, the second book is coming out, so that'll be another series to get into. I heard it's really good, it sounds really interesting, and I'm hoping it's not a letdown. I pre-ordered the signed copy of uh, One Dark Throne, and I'm really excited to read that because the way it left off was like, whoa. And, yeah, I mean, there's a couple other books coming out in September. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy or read yet. So, yeah. In my stack, I have The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider. I'm excited to read this. It's a nice contemporary, supposedly, that Sarah has read and recommended. Yes. And she could probably explain it better than I can. All I know is that it's supposedly really funny. Not super into contemporaries, but... It's been recommended, and I'm gonna try it out. Honestly, if you are like a huge geek nerd, any kind of like that, I don't know. I connected with the book so much because it's about a debate team and like the geeks of the school, and I it had me laughing out loud like in class, and everybody would look at me and be like, "What are you laughing at?" I'm like, "My book. It's funny." 
That could happen. Okay, back to your stack. <laughs> And this is The Crowns, Fate by Evelyn Skye. This is the second book to The Crowns Game, which was a pretty good book. I think I gave it a 3 out of 5 on movies. But I read it super quickly because I was looking forward to it. There are these two magicians, and both of them don't know that the other exists. Usually these magicians, they compete. If there's more than one of them, they compete in this thing called The Crowns Game, where they have to essentially kill the other magician to be able to serve under the star. Pretty snazzy. It's on my never-ending TBR list. And this is the first book in the Legend series, Legend Trilogy actually, by Mary Lou. I also have Prodigy and Champion, which I want to be able to read all three of these this month. I read Legend maybe two years ago and I liked it, but our library never had <laughs> the other two books. So Legend is about this 15 year old girl named June who is born into an elite family. She's this military prodigy and she's kind of living her life in this dystopian West Coast United States type thing called the Republic. And our second protagonist, his name is Day and he is born in the slums of the Republic. And along the way, they meet each other due to this type of disease that's spreading around the Republic. And when they join forces, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're posting plays and Fridays. We'll link our social media in the description below. Hit that subscribe button to get notified and happy reading. Yay. Bye. <laughs>